Hi, today I'm going to Texas to find two of my favorite YouTubers, Gav and Dan, and get them to do some testing for me. In fact, I brought so many tools and equipment on my carry-on luggage, I was sure they would stop me. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> look at this, but apparently it was fine. I've heard these guys are somewhere around here. Let's see. Oh, there they are. Hi, guys. Oh, oh God. God. It's him. Oh, oh, God. Come on. Where did they Oh, my God. Damn it. Where did they go? Oh, oh, there you are. This video is sponsored by Audible, the best place to listen to anything audible new members try audible for free from the link in description more at the end so i took my one tesla tesla coil and my homemade marx generator to the slow-mo guys to film them at millions of frames per second to see what happens to the arcs and analyze them well analyzing the arcs has to wait so many things went wrong with my experiments i thought we could never capture what we wanted one time I wanted to do a proper collaboration and no! Anyway, this video is just a compilation of my embarrassments and I'll make another one later analyzing the ARC's behaviors. But you can watch the ARC's in slow-mo now if you go watch the slow-mo guys video. Well, first off, I placed my Mox generator in my backpack hoping that it wouldn't get damaged. But under pressure, it was all mangled and I had to bend everything back into shape. So we started testing it to make sure it works. Okay, let me see if I can turn it on first. Oof. Oh. <laughs> Fortunately, it was nothing. I'm just happy I finally found the source of Dr. Zoidberg's sound effect. Oof. Oh. <laughs> what the hell happened there? That blew there. Okay. Hopefully there. Mark's generator will run. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's it, it did one though. I wanted to do more. Oh, there you go. Okay, okay, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Does that encourage electronics when you do this? Oh, oh okay. Let me turn. No! <laughs> <laughs> Ow! If you might touch ground, then don't hold the output of a high voltage source. Turn it off first. And yeah, don't hold the high voltage to start with. Okay, don't shock me. <laughs> I like the thing that you have to touch as well. Yeah, shocking. yeah, like, uh, there's no way to not do that. Come on. It's loud, that. Oops. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, did no. I, did I break that? That <laughs> sounds, that seems like it's, uh... That's the end of that, yes. Oh, no. Damn it, I blew my power supply. <laughs> <laughs> power supply never blew on me. What's even going on? Oh, man. Ah, that usually works. <laughs> Especially when it's been on fire like that. Okay, oh, okay. let's go shopping. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we did try to fix the supply, but... There is a blown capacitor there. There we go, that black capacitor. Supposed to be like the blue one, but it's black now. Is it still on? Which? The, the thing, is it still on? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Slamming it also didn't yeah, work. Slamming it didn't work. <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's almost predictable that this would happen, you know? Well, I didn't predict that. No? My power supply never burned, so that was the first. Blew no up. more testing oh. until the cameras are on. Yeah, we have to make sure we have the slow-mo first before anything yeah. else blows up. Yeah, yeah. I was going to bring a battery, but I was pretty sure that they wouldn't let me in the airplane yeah, with the battery. Yeah, pushing it, I think. Like you're supposed to take batteries on, on planes with you, right? Rather than put them in the check bag. Yeah, but a car battery? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's quite a lot of battery. The one that that car's just coming out of there, it's just it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> this one, right? Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe you should drive next time. <laughs> okay, where is the car battery now? Alright, so we have a battery now. Yeah, we've got a battery. Yeah. The package of the battery, it was saying 
119 amps, so that might be a problem if something shorts. <laughs> um, that's, that's too many amps. Hopefully nothing blows up and we can get the arcs first for the slow-mo and then... Yeah, and then we can blow everything up. Yes. <laughs> I don't think we need to, it, it'll just blow up on their own. And the circuits I made are not it's made to last. Oh right, you just melt build them for one video and then you're like, and we're good. Uh, I mean, it's always a bonus if I can use it for more videos. Is yeah, take a right, here? Uh, not here, okay. the next one. This one here. This one here. Oh, this one? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god. You have to I was going to say, if you didn't know, this, that bit is like a, a ramp. <laughs> it's like a huge ramp. You could have towed the car if you'd gone fast into it. Let's hope the car battery works. Hey, you have a trampoline here. So we decided to start with the Tesla coil that we knew would work. Okay, we'll start at, a th what, 100,000 frames a second? <laughs> That's the starting point. That's the starting point <laughs> okay. for this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. right. I mean, I've Tesla? touched it before. It's not bad. It's like somebody's slapping you on the back of the hand at one hertz. Don't try the one kilohertz. It's like somebody's slapping you at 1,000 times a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm encouraging Dan to get shocked. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't encourage people to get shocked. Got you? Yeah, got me. <laughs> wasn't that bad that one? It, it, it was like a, so small. I it was wonder. pretty. It wasn't very powerful that one. I was hoping for more hurting, but the arcs were too weak. See, the secondary of a Tesla coil has a resonance frequency due to its inductance and capacitance, mainly from the top load to the ground. But with the device sitting on a plastic table, we didn't have a proper ground, so we made one. With that. You're gonna hurt me see. now. <laughs> it can hurt you better. Yeah, okay. Let's see if that's different. I you can, can go see a little it. bit further too. Can you go a little oh. bit further away, away from yeah. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, the arc is bigger. Oh, that's better. Ah, it's more uh, painful. There, right. <laughs> <laughs> the further you are from a Tesla coil, the more pain you get because the device gets the chance to charge to a higher voltage to jump over a longer distance to your hand. Unless you're so far, it can't charge any further to jump that far. So now what I want you to do is to have a screwdriver and point it to the arc. Okay. Just holding the plastic side of the screwdriver. Surely I won't feel it at all then. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Ah! Oh, you feel it? Ah, it's getting me in like a little <laughs> bit. Ah. And that's why you shouldn't rely on holding a plastic handle only to keep you safe. If the voltage is high enough, it will jump to the metal first and then to your hand, either through air or just by breaking down the plastic. Now, hold it like this, but hold the metal tight. So okay. it jumps to the metal and goes to your hand directly, right? Let's see how that Thoughts? feels. I feel like I don't know what's going to be worse. You feel it? Not at all, huh? Nothing. Now, although electricity runs straight from the metal into your hand, instead of entering through a single point, it spreads over a larger surface area, and so you can barely feel it. Well, of course, these arcs are low energy electricity, otherwise you would feel them no matter what. I, I never thought that starting at 100,000 frames a second would be too wimpy of a speed. Yeah, it's gonna be, unless we sit here and watch it frame by frame, it's gonna be so hard. There's a big issue capturing fast infrequent arcs. Like if you are capturing 100,000 frames a second and you capture only one second and the arc pops only for one frame, how the hell are you supposed to find that one frame out of 100,000? So we had to increase the frequency of the arcs. It's not very bright. Let me increase the frequency so hopefully you can see something. Oh! <laughs> you won't feel frequencies above 30 kilohertz as electric shock. And the resonance frequency of this Tesla coil is around 250 kilohertz. But because we are pulsing these high frequency arcs at audible frequency, it gives them low frequency components that can shock. Looks nice-ish, but the arcs are so fast, the 100,000 frame rate is clearly not enough. So we went to 500,000, then 1 million, and then 1.75 million frames per second. <laughs> the thing is, with the Tesla coil running at 1 kilohertz pulses, we have a much greater chance of finding the arcs after we capture them. We need to bump it up to 
a million or something. Yeah, something <laughs> straight to a million. <laughs> <laughs> a million. Hey, you guys have one of these? <laughs> Jump up! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I did it! Let me see if I can come around. <laughs> Why am I going so fast all of a sudden? Oh, sh**! <laughs> all right, you've switched to a drill bit. Yeah, I've, I've switched to this sort of long drill bit just because because my wasn't, wasn't much room on the screwdriver. It was jumping directly to my hand. I'm going to try and avoid that by using this long drill bit. Sure. <laughs> Maybe I should have mentioned that the test could have been done by arcs jumping to a grounded metal instead of Dan. I forgot. Well, it was his fault too. See, when you feel something is stinging you, you naturally loosen your grip and let go, which is what Dan did. But in this case, you have to actually grip harder to increase the surface area and lower the resistance, or just move away. Well, they are low energy arcs and Dan is a trooper. What we are doing is that I have a... What he's trying to say is, let's move on to try the ZBS circuit and the Marx generator for massive arcs. If you want to know about these circuits, you can watch my old videos. But let's start from the ZBS continuous arcs. Oh, we got something. Yeah, we do. Oh, wow. Oh, man. Oh, that's burning there. Yeah, it's okay. It always burns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Good. fine. It's smoking. It's okay. What can I say? It's a shitty transistor setup that arcs to itself and burns. Um, okay. Do we want to move on to the... Yeah, let's go the Marxy Marx. The Marxy Marx. Oh, that's, that's, that's cool. not good. That's not good way. Oh. That's okay. Now I broke that. Now I'll go solder. <laughs> <laughs> this time, nothing's going to blow up. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's doing it again. Too close, too powerful. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, yeah. look. Wow. <laughs> I'm not a man of doing things properly, so. <laughs> I couldn't let's, tell. Let's, let's just try quickly. Oh, oh no, it's going to jump in. Oh, God. <laughs> Fully on fire. Oh, man. <laughs> so. Did something blow up? Something blew up. On oh, there. Oh. oh, no. Now, my power transistors blew up. Such a hassle. <laughs> if my transistors are broken, then I'll have to replace them. What did I say we'd be done by today? <laughs> <laughs> you jinxed it. A few on the spot repairs. Would you like a chair rather than kneeling on the floor? Yeah, here you go. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I can do business. <laughs> now I can do business. Hopefully we get some arcs before it blows up. <laughs> it might be our last chance. Bing. Oh! It's working! Um, so it's off. Okay, and on. Whoa! <laughs> oh man! Wow. Okay. Should we go straight to 1,075,000? Oh. <laughs> you're, you're so keen on like, uh, should we set this up right? 1.75 or 456,000 now. Ooh. We are at 875,000. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love your, your laugh of glee. <laughs> jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. We spent hours trying to find the one in a million frames shot. We are still not fast enough to play. You want to go to 1.75 again? <laughs> Where are we at? 175? <laughs> okay, stop. I mean, I'll never find that, will I? On here. No. Oh, Yo, there oh, we go. I mean, oh. <laughs> 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 All right. I mean, oh, sugar. <laughs> okay. Sugar indeed. Oh, it was such a mess of a test setup. But hey, we managed. And now I have to sit down and review those arcs frame by frame for my next video. Well, I guess you can also review them too, watching the Slow Mo Guys video. And make sure to subscribe them too. And of course, this video is sponsored by Audible, the best source of audiobooks across any genre from... Uh, 
bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business and more. Just put on your headsets and taste the freedom of enjoying any title, podcast or audible original hands-free and go about doing whatever you want, like... So let's start with the end in mind. Dang, I don't look for a second and it's like a donkey exploded in here. Sign up now from audible.com slash electroboom or in US text electroboom to 500 500 and try audible for free for 30 days. Especially since with audible membership there is a whole new section of titles accessible like exclusive words, music series or podcasts. Let's see what's interesting in science. Narrow it down by physics. Oops, did I forget to listen to Neil deGrasse Tyson's Astrophysics for People in a Hurry? I should add that. Oh, Einstein's life story. Ooh, Carl Sagan's Cosmos. I'm going to be busy for a while. See ya, and thanks for watching.